Hey guys, quick heads up before I start the video, the link down below takes you to my Patreon where you can download the project files for this video. Also gain access to my premium tutorials and in-depth courses where we build games together from start to finish. Check out my Patreon below, gain direct access to years of experience so that you can start working on your dream game tomorrow. Hello everybody, my name is Wim and in this video I want to show you how you can make a multiplayer chat in Unreal Engine. So right now I got a basic uh, empty project here and I want to take you guys uh, through this step by step and in the end of the video we'll have a functional multiplayer chat. So first of all I got my empty content browser, then I made myself a folder called Chat Tutorial and in there I made three folders that are all empty right now, so a blueprint folder, a widget folder and a level folder and this is just a default level that you get over here under basic. So the first thing to do when we want to have a chat is that we need to have some basic classes set up here inside of the world setting such as a game mode and the player controller. So let's create that one first. So we're going to right click in the content browser, go to blueprint class, and then we're going to click on all classes and type in game mode. This is the preferred game mode for working with multiplayer games as it comes with more handy events. So we are going to use the game mode instead of the game mode base, which is more suitable for single player games. So we're going to click game mode, hit select, and then give it a name. So I'm going to call it BP, which stands for blueprint game mode chat. So this is my chat game mode as a tutorial purpose. We're then going to drag it in here to assign it to the world. Then we're going to make another class. So click on blueprint player controller, call this BPPC, which stands for player controller and then chat. Then we're going to hit save. Then we need to assign the chat to this game mode so that this player controller class also gets initialized whenever we hit play. So to do that, we're simply going to drag it in here. And that's it. So right now, if we go up here, we can uh, click on play standalone, new editor pie. We get ourselves one window where we can simply fly around. That's all it is so far. Um, then next up, we need to make some UI. And then after we made the UI, we're gonna go back to the player controller where we then create the UI and handle the input of pressing enter to enter your text message, then be able to chat. So inside of widgets, we have to make uh, two widgets. So we're gonna go over to user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, I'm gonna type in WB, which stands for widget blueprint, uh, chat panel. And then we're going to make another one and that's going to be the actual chat message. So here we're gonna do WB chat, uh, and then let's call it a chat message. So this is the parent widget, and this is the message that gets populated inside of this widget. Now, first of all, we're gonna open up the chat panel here. Let's make this full screen. And then we are going to grab ourselves a canvas panel in this case. If you already have a canvas panel and some other um, uh, UI layout basically, then that's all fine, but this is just the basics of how to set up the functionality for chat. So we're gonna get ourselves a canvas panel. Next up, uh, is a border and then this is basically our chat panel here so i'm going to anchor it to the bottom left hold control and click hold shift and click those controls that i'm saying stand right here then we're going to put this guy out of the corner a little bit so we're going to say 50 to the right and then minus 50 up and we are going to give it a size of let's say 300 by 100 that might be very small. Yeah, that's actually very small. So let's do 500 by like 350 height for now. We're going to style this. Then we're gonna go over to the brush color, make it some type of gray color like this. And that's fine for now. The next thing that we need is going to be a scroll box in which the chat messages appear. And we're also gonna need an input box in which we can type. So to get that, first of all, we're going to have to put a vertical box in here. Uh, once we get the vertical box, we can give a little bit of outside padding here. So let's say we have 10 padding all around the board. That's this padding that you see here. Then next up will be our uh, little scroll box here. So drag the scroll box item in here. And this scroll box item is going to, you can click here on always show scroll box. Then you see the scroll box by default. And this is going to contain all of those uh, children basically. So we're gonna click here on the name of the scroll box and call this chat underscore scroll box. 
then make sure that you make this a variable. So hit is variable true. If you don't do that, you won't be able to see the item over here. So if you take it off and then go to the graph here, then you won't see it. <clears throat> and if you do turn it on, then you see it appear over here, which means we can drag it in, which means we can code it such as adding children to it. And the children that we're gonna be adding to it are gonna be our chat messages that are incoming. Uh, next up, we're gonna to wanna to make this scroll box fill. So we wanna make it fill all the way. Then we're gonna get our input items so under the input category. We're gonna get ourselves a little text box over here, drag that into the vertical box. And this will be where we input the chat. As you see, when you drag it in, it becomes very uh, uh, like not tall basically. <laughs> so we're gonna click wrap and then wrap it with a size box to give it a default height. And I would say that a height of 50 is a bit big, <laughs> but a height of 40 will do the trick. Then we want a little bit of spacing between the chat and the chat box here. So click on the scroll box and give it, let's say 10 padding below. And then this the editable text box here will get a weird name, but it's already a variable by default as it is an input. So Unreal defaults it to be a variable uh, and change this to chat input box. That's simple enough. Hit compile and save. Next up, we want to change the font here a little bit and we want to preview some hint text to show the user that they can chat here. So over in the hint text, we're going to type in enter chat. And then as you see, it's barely visible. So to make it more visible, we're going to click here on the foreground color and turn, turn this all the way down, this one here on the right to make it black. We're also going to make the read only color all the way black and the focused foreground color all the way black as well. Then as we see, the chat is a little bit small and a lot to the side here. So let's give it 10 padding on the left and the font. We're going to make it a tiny bit bigger. So let's say 12 is looks nice for me. Um, then when you hit compile and save, it might turn your text into this. Uh, so to fix that, we're going to have to click here and select the font. If you don't see any fonts over here, click the little scroll wheel, then go over to show engine content. And there you should see some fonts to select. So let's do Roboto. Uh, and then after that worked, then click here again and turn it off. Hit compile and save once more and everything is now fixed. Next up, we're going to make the items that are going to appear in this box over here. So back to our content browser, we are going to click widget blueprint chat message. Over here, we're going to need ourselves a little, let's say, um, a horizontal box because we want our chat to go from left to right. Then we're going to click on fill screen, desired on screen, zoom in a bunch. This will actually show you what that size will be. In the horizontal box, we're going to need a text. This will be the, uh, the name of the player. So let's call this player name. Let's make it say player name. And then we're going to call it over here player name underscore text. Make sure that is a variable as we need to code it and edit it. Next up, we're going to duplicate this player name. And then this is going to be our text chat. So actually, let's call it chat text comes here. So that is this. And then the variable over here, we call it uh, chat message underscore text. So that's the chat message text. Then as we see, there's no space between these guys and they're uh, rather large. So if we click on font, we're going to change this to 12 and the message as well. There we go. Hit compile and save. Now we want a bit of space in between here or perhaps some default dots here. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this one once more. This does not have to be a variable. We're just going to call it dots text. And this will simply be the divider dots like this. Now, after these dots, so if we click them, we want a little bit of padding on the right. So let's say five padding on the right and perhaps uh, two on the left, something like that, right? All right, gonna hit compile and save. Uh, then next up, we want the ability to be able to set the player name and set the chat message. So let's do that right now. We're gonna go over to the graph, get our event, construct event. And then we grab in our player name and we grab our chat message text. We're going to drag off of it and type in set text. Then we click this one, hook it up just like that. We're going to copy paste this event over here, hook up the chat message text. And then we're going to promote this one to a variable. 
and we call this player name. So this is our player name variable. And this one here, promote that to variable two, call it chat message. Now, in order to be able to, uh, to set the values of this, we're gonna need to go uh, and expose these. So what that means is if you click the variable over here, we're gonna need to click on instance editable true and expose, to spawn, expose on spawn to true as well. Now, what that means is once we are in the chat panel over here and then go to the graph, what we're gonna do here in a little bit is uh, we're gonna do create widgets because we want to create widgets, which are the chat message widgets, and we want to add them into the chat panel. So in order to do that, um, if we then type in here for the class, we can now select the chat panel message, hit compile and save. Then out of here, once we create them, we want to basically set this player name and this chat message. But as you see, now there's no way of setting it except for behind here. So here we can now say set chat message and then it will pop up. Or we can say set um, player name and then it will pop up. But what you can also do is expose them and they will appear here. So I'll show you that if we click on the player name, hit instance editable, expose on spawn, do the same for the chat message, instance editable, expose on spawn, hit compile, save. Now if we go back here, then if we right click this node and refresh it, you'll see that the names appear. So now when we create the message items, then the player name will actually be able to plug it in here and same for the chat message. We're now going to leave the chat message alone for a little bit. So let's go ahead and close that. And then we're gonna code the functionality for this actual chat widget over here. So we go back to the graph, then we want to delete all of these events because we don't need them. This we're gonna put it to the side. Uh, and then what we need up next is the ability to actually type in the chat. So if we select the chat input box here, we're gonna scroll down and we'll get two events here, on text change and on text committed. So when the text changed, we then want to click on that event. We want to save the chat that we want to submit. So out of here comes the chat that we want to submit. And then um, if we click enter, on the chat box that that is the event for on text committed so we're going to get that event as well so here we can see what the text is that we're committing and the method that we are committing so if we put this to the side a little bit then let's put this up here okay so for on text committed we want to get a commit method which is if we drag out of here we can then switch Type in switch on text, and then you can see that there are different types of commit methods. But the one that we want is when we click enter. What we can also do in that case is drag off of here and say equal, equal enum. And if it is equal to enter, that means we want to actually submit the chat. So if this is true, we want to send the chat that comes out of here. And those events, we're gonna code those inside of the player controller to be able to actually communicate to the player controller, send a chat message, and then retrieve a chat message. Now, as a second thought, we actually do not need to on text change the event as this on text committed event already gives us the chat as well. So what we're going to do is delete this on text changed event for now, hit compile and save. We will leave this alone for now. And then we're gonna, uh, so this will be the sending of the chat. And then this event right here will be the receiving of the chat. So right now let's uh, actually code an event for receiving the chat. So we're gonna right click here inside of the event graph. Then we're gonna type in custom event uh, and let's call it update underscore chat. And what we want to update when the chat comes through is the player name that we want to send and then the message that we want to send. So if we then uh, click on the inputs, we're going to add a new parameter here of the type text. And this will be the player name that we want to come through in this event. And then we're going to click inputs again. And this will be the chat message that we want to be sent through. So when we are updating our chat, we then want to basically uh, create uh, a message here. So grab your create message widget, hook up the player name and the chat. And then simply, if we get the chat scroll box, we want to type in add child. And then this child is what we want to add over here, just like that. So that's how we can receive the chat. 
And then when chat comes in, so when we are updating the chat, so we are receiving a new chat message, then we also want to scroll the chat box to the bottom. So when more chat comes in from here, 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 we want to keep scrolling the chat bar to the bottom. So to do that, we're going to grab the chat scroll box here. Check out Cactal Center right now on Steam and Early Access. It's a very fun multiplayer video game, cheaper than the Starbucks coffee. So if you want to have a good time with your friends or strangers, click that link down below. And I appreciate every single one of you and enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. And then we want to drag off of here and type in scroll to end. Then we want to get this function and hook it up here. So when we receive chat, we want to scroll all the way down, hit compile and save. Then we can close the chat panel for a while and go over to our player controller class. So in here, first of all, let's make sure that we uh, get that chat inside of our screen. So on event begin play, we want the local player controller to basically set up this chat inside of the player screen here. So uh, what that means is that the player controller exists on the server and on the owning client. And we only want the owning client, so the local version of the player controller, to set up this chat inside of its screen, as we do not need the server to create a widget for it the server side version of the player controller. So off of begin play here, we're gonna right click and type in is local player controller. We're gonna branch off of here and hook this one up. We're then gonna drag off here and type in create widget. Now the widget that we wanna create is the chat panel. The owning player is ourselves as the player controller. Out of here comes our chat panel. So we're gonna promote it to a variable, call it widget blueprint chat panel just like that and once we created it we want to add it to the viewport there we go hit compile and save now we're going to test this logic so if we hit play and make this full screen we'll then see that our chat appears over here we also see that we are in the ground here and we don't want that so to fix that really quickly inside of this project i'm going to grab myself a little camera here so let's do place actors type in camera we're just going to drag a camera actor into the world it's not going to look too pretty but that's fine then we're going to go to the level blueprint over here right click get a reference to the camera actor. You can do that when the camera actor is selected here. Then you can right click at a reference. We're then gonna go off of begin play and type in blend view. Take this context sensitive off and get this node set view target with blend. The new view target is the camera actor and we want to do this as our player controller. So we click this one on again, get player controller. Here we go. Now we compile, save and hit play. We're up in the sky and we have a chat here. We see that there's a little flying ball in the ground. To fix that, we can remove the default pawn here. And we also see that the camera actor is, uh, is constrained here. So if we click here on constrain aspect ratio, then hit play, then we finally get what we want. <laughs> Um, then we're going to check if the client also can make its own chat widget. So we're going to click here on two players, play as listen server, hit play. We're then going to put the server to the right and the client to the left. And as we see, both the client on the left have a chat panel and the server on the right has a chat panel too. So that's great. Next up, we want to have the enter event here. So we're going to make an input so that we can handle clicking enter and then focusing the chat, being able to type in our text message and then being able to click enter again to submit it. So we are going to right click here, then type in keyboard enter to get this enter over here. And then when we press enter, we want to focus our chat panel. And then specifically what we want to focus is this a chat input box over here. So that's what we're going to do right now. So grab in your chat panel variable, which is this one. Then what we're gonna do is right click to validate it. So if we have a valid widget in our screen over here, then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get the chat input box. So out of here to get chat input box. And then what we want to do is that we want to set the keyboard focus. So uh, out of here, set keyboard focus. 
and then is valid. We're going to hook it up to this. Uh, and that's basically all we want to do. So if I hit play here and I click here on the right on the widget, if I do enter, then we see that now I'm focusing on the chat here. And then let's check that same for the for the client here as well. So let's make it a bit bigger. So if I click enter, we see that we now start to focus the chat and I can then start typing inside of the chat here. So that's great. Now what we want is that when we press enter again, we will actually submit the chat. So uh, to be able to submit the chat, we need to code some custom events inside of the player controller here. Mm -hmm. So right click, type in custom event, call this SR, which stands for server, submit chat. And then what we want to submit when we do that is our uh, username and the chat message. So yet again, we go over here, create ourselves an input of the text type, call it player name. Then the next thing that we want to send is our chat message. Now we're going to hit compile and save. And where we want to send that to is to inside of the chat panel here to this event, basically. So for every person that has the chat panel, we want to update their chat to add this element and then scroll to the end. So if we click this event, make sure that we set it to run on the server reliably then hit compile and save. Uh, and that's it for now. Now we go back to the chat panel over here. And then what we want is that what we want is that when uh, we commit the text here, so that's this one with an enter, then we want to call this event inside of the player controller, which will then send the chat to all other player controllers and thus update the chat. So over here inside of our chat panel widget, what we want to do is right click and type in get owning player. Now this return the uh, player that owns the widget and the player that owns the widget is ourself as the local player controller because we plug that in over here. And then from the owning player, we want to cast to our blueprint player controller chat. So we're going to type in cast to BP PC chat. We're going to hook this up to true. Uh, and then what we want to do is that we want to call this event over here called SR submit chat. So SR submit chat. And then we see that we need to fill in two options here. So we need to fill in the player name and the chat message. Well, the chat message comes out of here. And then the question is, how do we get the player name? Well, the player name exists inside of the player state in Unreal Engine, and each player controller has a player state. So out of the player controller here, we're going to uh, drag off of here and type in get player state. And we got this one over here. And then out of the player state, you can drag and type in get player name. And this name over here, uh, by default, if you use the standard Unreal Engine subsystem, it will return your PC name. But then if you hook up something like Steam or EOS, so Epic Online Services, then this will return automatically return your Steam name when you correctly set up a Steam subsystem. So when you implement something like a Steam Advanced Session, change your config file to Steam, then this will automatically return the player's Steam uh, username. So that's basically it. Now we're going to hit compile and save. And then let's take a look and see uh, how that works right now. So we click enter, we get the owning player cast to it, get the player state, get the player name. We get the chat message that we want to send and then we're going to send it. So we're going to click SR chat submit. And now this event handle is on the server. And then we want the server to send a message to all of the other player controllers to update their chat. So in order to do that, we're going to need to have a reference of all of the other existing player controllers inside of our online session. So to do that, we're going to type in get game state. So this is the state of the game. Now the game state uh, contains a reference to all of the existing player states. And as we know, the player states, they contain a reference to all of the existing player controllers and a reference to all of the player names inside of your game. So out of here, we can then type in get player array, which is a default variable inside of Unreal Engine. And when we take a look at this variable, it says array of all player states maintained both on the server and the clients. So once we know all of the players here, we're then going to do a for each loop. So drag off of the array type in for each loop. So for each player array, we want to do the following logic. First of all, we want to get their player controller. So get player controller. And then next up, we want to 
cast to their player controller. So that is the BBPC chat, cast to BBPC chat. Hook this up like this. And then what we want to do is that we want to call an event called update chat. So uh, that event has to exist on the owning client. So not on the server version, but on the owning client version of the player controller. And that one will then communicate with the chat widget here and we'll call this event to update the chat. So right now we're going to install that event. So if we right click here, call custom event, we type in OC for owning client update chat. And then yet again, what we want to uh, to send through here is a text type variable called player name. And the next one is the chat message. Then click your event and make sure that it is run on owning client reliable. That's the event that we want to call. So hit compile save and we're going to do OC update chat. Then just, oh. And we straighten these lines out a little bit, just like that. So in here goes the player name and in here goes the chat. And that's pretty much it. Um, after that, we basically call this update chat event over here. And this is then supposed to communicate with your chat panel to call this event. So to do that, we're going to get our chat panel again. And then we're going to validate it real quick. So right click and validate to ensure that the player controller that we are communicating to has actually already created this. So let's say you connect in the beginning, you haven't created this properly yet, then we want to ensure that we validate it here. Here we're going to drag out and call the update chat event. And we want to update the chat with the incoming player name and the incoming chat message. That's it in short. Now we're going to hit compile and save. And let's take a look at this logic. So if we hit play, put the client here to left, server to the right. Then the server is going to hit enter and going to say, hey, how are you? Hit enter. Both on the right and on the left, we're going to see WinPC that ends in number 17, send, hey, how are you? So we both receive it, but we do still see that the server still has to chat in here. So that needs to be cleared. And then on the left here, we're going to have the client, which is going to type uh, back, I am fine. Thank you. And then we see that the client sends that chat and then the client receives it himself and the server receives it here as well. And then we do indeed still see that this needs to be cleared. So let's fix that really quickly. We go back to the chat panel, back to our on text committed event. And once we have submitted our chat, we basically want to clear it. Um, so to do that, we're basically gonna drag in our chat input box and then we're gonna say set text. And then here we go, set text. So after sending our chat, we want to set the text to be empty again. So let's take a look at it now. So like this, we click enter on the right and we say, hey, uh, how are you? And then we see that the chat is gone again. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, and in simple, this is how you make a multiplayer chat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye